Hello! And welcome to uh, our Season 1 Stranger Things commentary. This is Chapter 7, The Bathtub. Which uh, admittedly does not sound as menacing or foreboding <laughs> when I say it. But, uh, you know, within the uh, context of the show. It's very scary. <laughs> It's like, oh man, hope she can't read minds too. Oh, you're happy I'm home. Oh, oh no. Oh no. You're in a sense. She freaks out and snaps his neck. <laughs> She's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, I should point out something, too. I don't think we've ever done this. I don't know if we mentioned we talked about the walkie-talkies, but uh, the fact that they have walkie-talkies is kind of a, yeah. not a big deal, but, you know, that's not a cheap piece of equipment. Like, yeah. we didn't have walkie-talkies growing up. <laughs> Mad hen. Mad hen. No, no, maybe she should come with yeah. you. You know, considering how she can, like, make you fly and kill people with her mind. Um, in fact, don't ever go anywhere without her. It's creeping. <laughs> uh, I remember these days, back <laughs> before cellular telephones when, you know... There's only one line in the house, and you had to talk to your mom, and she was just like, you know, granted, her, their mom right there is taking it pretty nice. Mm -hmm. My mother would always be like, you know, you know, to say entire conversations to clench teeth. You know, it's serious when they space out their words. Mm hmm. <laughs> And probably one of my favorite parts in the whole series is coming up here. I think that's everyone's favorite part. Well, yeah, but I, I it's, it's, again, it's another E.T. moment, or so you think. It's kind of a, like a fake out. Like, you think you know what's going to happen. You know, you think you're going to have, like, a Spielberg moment. Right. And instead, you get the exact opposite. And See, you I, 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 like, guys, at this point, you're not even trying to be discreet. Well, like... I know. Like, why even keep up the facade of, like, uh, you know, a... But again, it's like you think you're going to get your Spielberg moment, and instead you get like a Stephen King moment. Mm -hmm. But here's my thing. What's their plan with her? Because if she can like kill people by snapping their necks, it's almost like... And I'd be curious to see something that maybe we talk about in season two. What's her range? Like, how close do you have to be for her to be able to do that? Like, if yeah, you're, if you're way at the end of the street, could she still do it? Or is it, you know, like a proximity? Like, you have to basically be kind of like right around her. I, I don't know, I'd be curious. So also something I've been curious about when they do, like, people are, like, telekinetic and whatnot. Like, how? Wh what's the range on that? What's the range on the telekinesis? I know. Dude, poor Lucas. He must be so tired. I know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a main road. Wouldn't count on it. I wonder if season two the the government guys are gonna have like a, they're gonna have learned from this and they're gonna have a bike squad. <laughs> wait for it! Wait for it! Wait for it! Boom! <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> Suck a dick! <laughs> I love and that. He's just like I'm a proud papa. He's probably thinking, oh, that could have been worse, actually. I know. Again, I love that moment. We all thought it, we, we we all thought they were going to fly. Yeah. We all thought they were going to fly. And instead, you know, it's a bait and switch. And I love that. I love, love how the Duffer brothers, by this point, are very much aware of where we're going to be in Adam's our headspace. Mm -hmm. So they know, okay, right now, they're totally going to think we're going to pull an E.T. moment. So let's just, you know, fuck with them. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And I'm a douche. <laughs> you flip a van like that. Let me tell you something. Thank that, you for not hitting me like you had that. I know. You probably <laughs> think, like, uh, listen, uh, uh, all that shit before, I was just playing, all right? Like, uh, listen, you know, just, uh, you know, it's like when uh, kids hit, you know, other kids in the playground means they like them. <laughs> yep. Just really, really like you. Big old crush. Please don't fucking throw me into the next county. Now, here's something I've always, I've been curious about. And maybe, because I know they said they want to do this for like four seasons total, right? I think, yes, yeah, what I've Around heard. that, at least, I you know. I'm wondering if it's going to end, and this is not going to be a popular thing to say, so I'm sorry. I wonder if it's going to end with uh, Eleven dying. Mm. And I'm going to say that because every time she uses her powers, her nose bleeds. Yeah. I mean, usually when you start bleeding, it's not a good sign. So I'm wondering if it's like it takes a toll on the body and mind. Yeah. And that eventually she's going to kind of just wear herself out. And that's kind of the the reason, that's part of the reason they use children maybe for the experiment. Because they know they kind of have a, a short shelf life. Mm. So they have to keep using children to kind of get them to go as long as they can before yeah. they recycle them. So I'm wondering if that's kind of how they're going to go with Eleven. Like, she might die. I know that's kind of cool pop. I mean, it doesn't mean they have to. They could easily write something else. But I'm wondering if that's what the nosebleed kind of also indicates, is that every time she's using her power, she's damaging herself. Yeah. I don't know. It makes sense. Yeah. Some, like, she's giving herself a brain aneurysm or something. You know what I mean? Unless it's all, or it's just kind of to show her age, or she's young. And maybe they're going to kind of show it towards the end of the series when she's mastered her power. She's going to do something really cool and she's not going to have a nosebleed yeah. indicating. She's kind of like, all right, she's hardened up. She's mastered it. You know, she's no longer like, you know, green around the ears where yeah. it's kind of like when you start, here's a, here's a little reference. When I, when I first started lifting weights really heavy, you get your, your hands hurt because you get really bad. You know, you're so soft and eventually you get calluses on your hands and you don't like hurt your finger hands anymore. It's kind of the same thing where she's not calloused yet, so she's still it hurts. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> huh. What do you kids get up to? PMRC uh, had their way, they would uh, blame it on the music. <laughs> it's all that. It's all that motley crew. I like how this is probably the first time she's been down here in weeks. I know. What, what is this? What, what, what is that? I like how they had to make it like a giant strand, otherwise you wouldn't see it. No. Yeah. Like... <laughs> this guy. This dad. Seriously, he, he's like, where's Waldo? Just all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, uh, her hair is so fabulous. Yeah, well, that's how the hair came in the eighties. Is fabulous. I know. It's coming back. Mark my words. It's coming back. Stranger Things is the catalyst. It's like <laughs> they're gonna be looking at all their posters and, <laughs> and nerd stuff. And they're gonna be like, "Sir, we're not dealing with amateurs here." <laughs> Like, oh shit. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. Don't smell it. <laughs> yes, because you, you go in the basement so often. Now, does he look older than her to you? I mean, maybe it's just me, but he seems like he's a lot older than her. She looks a little, or he looks a little older. Yeah. How yeah. cold Blade would it be if she just pulled out the gun with the silencer, just took him out, like, mm -hmm. oh shit. <laughs> when the show goes a little too Stephen King and not enough Spielberg. <laughs>
it's funny because it, it, like Eleven or you know Millie Bobby Brown Matthew Modine like he plays this character like again they they put they both play very intense characters who communicate very subtly like in terms of kind of like you know vocalization and granted he talks more than Eleven but like they both always seem like poised to strike the only difference yeah. between him and Eleven is that Eleven feels more like a a skittish animal, you know, kind of straight. Yeah. And he kind of feels more like, it almost kind of feels like adult versus child, where like the child is still, you know, scared. But as an adult, he's more confident. They kind of almost seem like the same kind of person. You know what I mean? In a weird way. (laughs) I love how they're, they piece this together again, and again, it's that level of distrust that existed, you know, back then. Yeah. But it's interesting when you have a common. It is funny because again, you should be like, okay, America, rah rah rah. You know, we got to fight the commies. Da 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 da. da. But it it almost it create almost like the opposite effect. It, instead of being patriotic. People became, in a weird way, almost as scared of their own government in some ways than, you know, the enemy. Because it's almost like the enemy was so bad that it seemed like the government would stoop to any level. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To fight that threat and basically justify it by any means necessary. Which And then people started thinking like that and then got scared of their own government. So now a lot of Americans are afraid of, you know, the Soviets across the way. But at the same time, they were afraid of their own government, too. So it was, it was a really, um, conf- you know, it was a really freaky time. You know, I don't, I, you know, people look back on the 80s with such fondness and nostalgia, and it's justified. Don't get me wrong. This is a, an awesome decade. So much of what, you know, we love came out of it. But I don't think a lot of people really remember that there was always this, this you know, hint, this element of fear in the air, this paranoia. And I think it's because kind of the Soviet Union just kind of crashed literally right at the end of the 80s. That it was like, 89, yeah, basically. That everyone felt, okay, it's over now. The threat is over. I know this is a I think like what Pre, this would be pre Sinead O'Connor, pre Ripley, Alien Three. Mm-hmm. This is pre Ripley Aliens, so you know it, w- w- it wasn't cool yet, folks. <laughs> His face right there. <laughs> I don't know what he's like. What? Damn, look at that shine. Yeah, he looks fucked. I'm like, dude, just fucking wipe it off. Like, what are you doing? Well, that's scar tissue right there. It doesn't... Yeah, you wouldn't put it on the raw like that. Yeah. Again, it's one of those things where it's it's like 
people, you know, you grew up with people and they just kind of become, they just kind of stay your friends, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's like, again, some of those things where it's like, you just, again, small town, you don't really, you know, there's not a lot of new people, so your friends are kind of your friends. You know, you meet them at a certain age and yeah. they're a certain way and you guys click really well and as you get older, you know, they start changing basically and, but it's just like, they're your friends by default. So one of the reasons too, like when people go off to college, a lot of times they drift apart because it's, if it was really just proximity that was keeping them together. Kim and Jin. We don't see them again, do we? Those I don't two? think so, no. Not in this season anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be curious to see what they're going to do with them in season two or if they do anything with them. Because again, in a small town like that, it's like, it's hard just to, you know, sever ties. <laughs> yeah, for Mike. Again, I love how, like, all these stories are, have kind of intersected. It was, mm -hmm. like, the mom was kind of on her own. Hopper was doing his own thing. These two are kind of, you know, were, were investigating more of the supernatural on their own. The, the kids, obviously. And it's all kind of led them to this very same spot. So now it's, like, everything is going to converge. So now everything that was crazy before is now, like... Oh, yeah, she hasn't been there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the house has gone to hell a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I miss the old days. We would find like weird abandoned places and we would just hang out. That, that's what kids did, man. We used to like find places and hang out. You know, that, that we were all about like finding places and like making our little forts, our little like retreats. <laughs> I love that. I love how Lando has become it over the years like such a uh <laughs> Eleven's just like I'm gonna sit this one out guys. Let me know when you need uh someone to piss their pants or make Vance fly. <laughs> Yeah, so it's this scene right here where the actor is saying um, when he's walking up with the makeup on his face, he actually was bruised underneath the makeup because he actually got walloped by accident. Yeah. So, so right here he says, yeah, he was in a lot of pain. It's funny, that happens a lot in movies. I think people always think, you know, that these fights are so staged and mm. choreographed, and they are. But when you start swinging fists, well, I mean, yeah. statistically, it's Because gonna... it has to look good. It's such close proximity that yeah. if one person's out of place slightly... Yeah, and it's funny. They used to make fun of, like, some of the older movies. Sometimes you watch some of the older Rocky movies. If you see their angles, you can tell they're, like, miles apart. And they have to just, you know, angle the camera just right. So, you know, when they're throwing a the punch, it looks like they're hitting them. And people don't... <laughs> <laughs> Wink! Wink! I guess you guys didn't get murdered, so count yourselves lucky. Yeah, I was going to say, well, they treated you better than most. But no, again, it's a lot of time in the movies that when they have, a lot of times people get hurt, even in choreographed fights. That's why, like, professional wrestling, I mean, yes, it's choreographed, it is staged, but you're still slamming into each other, you're still yeah. throwing fists around, you're still going to get hurt. It's like when you roughhouse versus a real fight. Mm -hmm. I used to roughhouse all the time as a kid. I would come home with bruises and scrapes all the time. <laughs> I remember one time, I was... My dad used to do karate, so he'd like do mock moves and he'd show me, and he actually roundhouse hit me in the face because I moved <laughs> into it. <laughs> like, it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But, but still, I mean, again, it happened, so. 
<laughs> I love this part. I don't forget about this. He would be me. That would be me right there. I'd be like, I don't know about this shit, man. I wonder how far from the house, from their house, this is. You know what I mean? Like, it can't be that far. I mean, it's hard to tell in rural towns because once you get it right outside the town limits, it it's rural. And again, yeah. it's like if. I like how they just have their guns out too. I know. Ready to shoot. But some well, kids. if they know Eleven's with them. Oh, I know. But see, that's the thing. Right there, couldn't she just snap their necks if she wanted to? Well. Yeah. Like, that's the thing. That's why I'm wondering, like, why are they sending them in like this? I mean, they've seen what she can do. Like, basically, unless you can see her first before she sees you, you can get a shot well, off. honestly, it's probably just to make these guys feel better. <laughs> unless these are just, like, lambs to the slaughter. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, oh, yeah, they off a gun. You'll be fine. Yeah. She's just a little girl. <laughs> to be fair, they might not even know everything. It's like they might not be in, in on it, you know what I mean? Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> like he's just over this shit. I know. It's like son of a bitch. He's got that uh that blue collar, like working class kind of demeanor where it's just like I don't have time to fuck around. Chop chop. Yeah, um. <laughs> look, look how she's just oh so terrified. Oh, she's so adorable. So dangerous, but so adorable. Uh, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> well, she didn't know for sure yet. I guess, yeah. She because then again, she wasn't looking for her. Yeah. I'm still curious if they're gonna try to do some of the actress. I, I still I think know. they're gonna show a flashbacks or something because she's become so popular. Mm I love that. I love how she communicates that. Again, oh. It's like, there's such subtle moments, but they're so intense. Like, it's... Like, you really feel like she has, like, the weight of the world on her shoulders. And in a weird way, she kind of does. Yeah. But it, it, it's interesting because she's inadvertently found, like, a family, like, a real family. Because if you look at where she's at now, who she's with, it's... She gets the idea right there. <laughs> it was awesome. But see, that's my thing when they say she gets exhausted. I mean, it, it makes sense. Yeah. It's kind of like if you overexert a muscle. Well, you get tired. I mean, but I'm still I'm wondering if it's like she's going to, I don't know, break herself, basically.
Would that realistically have been on TV, though, by then? I know. The movie came out, what, 1982? I will say this, though. I love the picture quality on that TV. So you just time... said, do you want me to pause it? Oh, so it must be a v... oh, VHS say... tape, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this part coming up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it's like, I'm He's trying like, to I'm get deep in I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm trying to open up a curiosity door for myself right <laughs> now. Yeah. Catch my drift, little man. What kind of fancy ass phone do they have? I was thinking about that. I'm like, wireless. I don't think they had those in 1980. I could be wrong. Maybe it was a really, really early one. <laughs> I'm trying to steal it from the school. Fucking uh, Hawkins Middle School looks like the. High school I went to my sophomore year. <laughs> I went to three different high schools. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I went to one like a regular person. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> he's like, Oh. I don't really want to look Dude. at the Demogorgon again anyways. Again, uh, we've kind of established that it's not like this invincible creature. It's dangerous, but again, it's no more dangerous really than like, you know, a really big predator. You know what I mean? With that said, you don't really want to run into a really big predator either. So just, I would say, oh, it's Those no worse than a... Those pools. I know. It's so dumb, but I love that they swear. Uh -huh. I love that they swear. I, I'm just, I, I just, I just hate it when I see shows or movies. When <laughs> Get it done. <laughs> He's like, this is the best bonding experience you've ever had. I know. Again, I love these stories where it's like the unlikely team up of people. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you have what? The small town sheriff, the kind of you know neurotic neurotic you know like single mom the the weird kind of recluse kid the nerd kids the popular sister and they're all like together now they're like this team and then you have little you know xavier girl i know they're not right next to each other but I'm like dang either she's really short or he's really tall i think she's very petite i mean I've seen photos of her, you know, just like in the press and all mm -hmm. that. She seems very kind of, she's not like a small, but she's, you know, she's very kind of, small, you know, petite build. <laughs> she's like, oh, okay. She's like, mm hmm, yeah. See, again, can't relate. Never went through that. <laughs> okay, but girls have cooties. I'm like, well, then I want cooties because, damn. I love this moment here because it's kind of like the, it's the, really the only time she's ever been kind of shown like a mother's affection. Yeah. She's never had that before. I mean, she's had a bit of the, you know, fatherly kind of thing with a few of the guy characters in the show. She's had like the brothers kind of feel, but she's never had like a mom kind of. This is all so like new to her as. One thing I have to say every time I see this scene is I'm like, I feel like her lipstick's pretty heavy. I don't think she had time to uh, apply lipstick before Winona. They this. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little, you know. She looks a little done up, considering everything that's been going on. No, yeah, you know. I mean, shit. She's been through enough. I maybe. guess she wants to look good for when they find Will. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Just... 
I don't know. It's just there with Hopper. I mean, Hopper is uh, quite, I quite, I, I'd be getting made up quite the catch. Like, oh, Hopper's coming. With, oh, let me just quickly go in the. <laughs> I guess a little let me go stuff. powder my nose. <laughs> Science! <laughs> I'm just waiting for like Bill Nye to kind of like peer across the screen, explain to us what's going on right. and why. God, her skin's gonna be so dry when she gets out of there. So salty. <laughs> Little uh, not yet. Again, this is clever how they do this. I like this. Mm -hmm. Little Dead Sea action. Wouldn't they have had to stir that up, though? Well, I'm sh well, I think maybe, A, I'm sure to an extent, yes, but B, I'm thinking that's why they wanted a certain temperature. If it's warm enough, it's going to kind of dissolve. Oh, dissolve, yeah. That's, that's fair. Because I was going to say, otherwise, wouldn't it just collect the bottom? But yeah, yeah. I guess you're right. It's kind of like when I make coffee, I always put sugar in. And then the coffee, make sure it gets all dissolved, man. Yep. And iced coffee, you just get the chunks of sugar, and it's like, fuck. It just <laughs> doesn't dissolve. It's too cold. By the way, worst prescription glasses ever. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> the struggle of having your, uh, your clothes poof up. <laughs> Is it working? <laughs> So cool how they kind of do like the the blackout. Or yeah, whatever. no, I was gonna say I love how that's like really smooth transition. Again, I'm wondering if that black, though, is actually, like, black, like a black set, or if it's green screening. Yeah, I, I was just thinking that, too. Because that's really black. I feel like it'd have to be green screen. Yeah, because I don't think a lot of people realize how difficult it is to create, like, perfect black. Yeah. Yeah, I think they green screen the black. It makes sense. Because then it's, like, a perfect shade of it. Because look at her, too. She's not dark yeah if she was like really in a black black room she would be in a lot of darkness too it's like perfect light just on her yeah so i think that's how they did it it's probably she's in a big green screen poor barb yeah, i'm sure she's fine thing I know. this reminds you right here of um the game you played and you're uh, trying to... Hellblade. Yeah. yeah i found me strange for her too she's in the slip but she can hear a voice on the outside mm -hmm. like i wonder if her mind can get overwhelmed by that oh, i'm sure I just love how they did all this, how it's just like elements from their world, like within like this dark side, like she's singling those things out. I love how it's just so like, yeah, <laughs> like make sure you wash your hands after don't sit down. Get a tetan shot. Like, like I'm wondering what what he would see right now if it was her, because obviously he doesn't see that black space. He's 
Well, there. that's what I'm wondering. If he can censor? He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm wondering again if it's like he, he doesn't really see her, but he hears her. Yeah, like senses her. Yeah. That's cool. I like how they do mm. that. No, that, I, I, I don't know. I just really love how they they show what her like when she's her psychic blah what that looks like. Mm -hmm. It's done so effectively. <laughs> um. <laughs> I love that. It's just gives him the business. Like, he can kind of, like, he kind of pushes people around a little. I mean, it, yeah. it, you know, it's for, you know, a good reason, but it's kind of how he gets his way. You know, the, and I love how she's just not having it. She's like, no, no, fuck you. Like, don't pull that shit with me. Well, and, and he I know, think it's one of those things where, because he knows if it was my. Well, yeah, but again, she, I love how she legitimately, like, stands up to him. Like, she doesn't, yeah. like, get intimidated him at all. Like, she's just like, no. I don't know. When people say that, some people say Winona Ryder's character was a weak character. I was like, are you kidding me? She's probably like, honestly, after 11, hell, maybe even more so, she's probably the toughest character. That tiger looks really messed up. <laughs> <laughs> like, what's wrong with it? What's wrong with that tiger? <laughs> Anyways. Um, <laughs> I'm so distracted by the tiger. We interrupt this uh, commentary to bring in an important uh, announcement. There's something wrong with the tiger. I love how haggard these two look now. Even oh, look at no. her. Again, by the end of this, everyone looks like they've seen some shit. Yeah. And, you know, they have, so... <laughs> it's not a... And again, you know... Like, I like it, the, the teenagers, you know. What's the difference between, like, the teenagers and, like, the young kids? In a lot of ways, they're going to be more apt to rebel, you know what I mean? So, yeah. for better or for worse, the kids are staying there. But they're like, nope, let's go. <laughs> Back when you could smoke indoors. Right. Guys, just shouldn't be that easy. <laughs> uh, I was say, yeah, this is why I was surprised Hopper got in so easily the first time. I was yeah. like, you should have gotten through the door. It's just so strange that, uh, a lot of people keep trying to break into the secret government lab. Now we're getting our our kind of first real good look at life for Will. Fucking past week. I know. God damn. Shit, look at him. Remember when I thought everyone else looked bad? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <sighs> well, there you go, folks. We've got uh, one more chapter to go before it, we conclude our exciting Stranger Things Season 1 commentary. So we'll catch you then. Peace. Peace.